everyone welcome to this video in which of the following molecules all atoms are coplanar right so let us understand the word coplanar 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 means all atoms it can be anything all atoms should be in one plane only one plane only one plane only this is possible only when hybridization hybridization is sp2 or sp3 Yes, sorry, SP because SP2 means trigonal planar. Trigonal planar means three atoms will be there. All these three atoms will be planar structure only. For example, alkene. Right here, if I have hydrogens, this is planar because the hybridization of this carbon is what SP2. SP2. And uh, talking about SP, SP means this one C triple bond C. H and H. This will be in linear shape. Planar linear it is. Planar means all are in one plane and its shape is what? Linear. Because it lies in the same plane only. So here it is sp2. Similarly benzene ring is there. Right. So double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond and double bond. Right. So this all carbons here are sp2. So the hydrogen and carbon. The hydrogen and carbon all the six hydrogens and six carbons lie in same plane only all lie in what same plane only so here if you check the given options let us talk about this first b so b is what cyclohexane cyclohexane it is the hybridization of this carbon is sp3 to solve such problems you should know how to find the hybridization for all the atoms right so there is a technique that you can follow it right so if sp3 means see if i assume that these carbons are in one plane but the hydrogen one hydrogen will be above the plane other hydrogen will be below the plane so these two these three carbons might be in same plane but these two hydrogens are one is above one is below so it is not coplanar so b is not coplanar similarly same as b d is there this is also not coplanar because hybridization is what sp3 here hybridization is sp3 sp3 means we know that it is tetrahedral structure tetrahedral right and talking about c let me talk about c so c here c c double bond c and here i have what cn cn can i write it like this c triple bond n and c triple bond n so see this carbon is sp2 yes it is planar because hybridization is sp2 and its carbon is sp so it is also planar so all these nitrogen carbon nitrogen carbon this carbon this carbon all lie in one plane what about ch3 here ch3 and here ch3 this ch3 and this ch3 both are sp3 hybridization sp3 means tetrahedral so they are not in one plane it will be like this one see let me write it here c double bond c here cn is there here cn is there here carbon this carbon this carbon will be one plane let us assume this hydrogen will be one plane but one hydrogen will be above the plane and other hydrogen will be below the plane so these are not coplanar similarly here this hydrogen this hydrogen might be in same plane carbon this bond this same plane but one hydrogen will be above the plane other hydrogen will be below the plane so this these are not in same plane so these are not the example for coplanarity so this is not coplanar this is not this is not and a should be coplanar because i have talked about benzene right so benzene benzene means all are sp2 hybridization all carbon nitrogen will be in sorry hydrogen will be in same plane so this is also benzene benzene i have linked this we call it as biphenyls diphenyls or biphenyl biphenyl or diphenyl right so all these things are all are in sp2 hybridization because of sp2 hybridization all are in same plane same plane so all atoms are coplanar so the answer for this question is a as all are coplanar thank you